Welcome back, everybody. I'm Evan. That's Will. Um, Willie, where you at? What are you doing? I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm getting snacks. <laughs> I hope those jelly beans were worth it. This is Dungeons Chaos. All right, continuing on with our uh, little highlights of the dungeons and caves of the Bursia Island. We're gonna go to uh, something rather unique. It's up here in these uh, red mountains over here. Uh, we're gonna head to the Gnome Tunnels, just north of where Eichberg is. over here here's the uh, settlement i birth go a little bit uh north of that follow the river all the way into the mountains uh you'll find a tunnel once you get into the tunnel uh you're going to be met with ergon uh, he is a little pissed uh he's up here trying to cut wood down because of uh the angry tree and the orcs not letting them get wood closer to the settlement so he's up here trying to do this and he got robbed by gnomes. He lost all of his tools. So they're up here trying to avoid the, the orcs, uh, but he ran into gnomes. Over here uh, with this, uh, let me turn that down. Uh, over here uh, are little mounds, and you'll see a, a nice little entrance every once in a while. The uh, great thing about this is it is random and they regenerate so when you clear one dome tunnel uh, you can rest for a day uh, so when your skill resets and you're outside of the tunnel it will respawn to a different location and have a brand new tunnel system so it's very repeatable and is a good place to farm now there is one little thing here these have secret entrances all over the place and if you do not have high enough perception, you may not find all of them. And so it's best to either have uh, grinded out your perception or at least trained it. But we'll run across gnomes, gnome mages, and I think gnome warriors too. And every once in a while, a gnome shaman. Alright, so they're very fast. Uh, they evade a lot. They're resistant against magic, resistant against poison. As with almost everything on Brasilla Island, they're uh, weak against fire, uh, also cold and lightning. So any of the elements will uh, really do some damage with them. We're set on hot spots, so we should be able to just auto uh, this and take care of them real easily. Very quick. I've killed a lot of these guys uh, grinding. This is one of my favorite places to grind. I'll turn this down just a little bit more. Go. Throw a save down and let's continue on uh, with this. Uh, the big thing is uh, having a chance to find a gnome shaman gives you uh, an opportunity to get a Cortland's cape. So, Cortland's cape, the big thing here, it gives you an increased loot value. So you have a chance of finding better equipment, better gear, higher level magic stuff uh, with these, with the loot value being increased. Uh, so I'm going to go through this tunnel. Uh, might uh, pop back in with some key moments, uh, but if we find a shaman, I will certainly show you that. All right, looks like they killed the cleric here. Uh, they just straight targeted him. Yeah, it was mage, lightning strike. They got him. So there's something to be uh, a little cautious of. The gnomes have a combat AI that assigns them to target spellcasters and healers. Uh, so target them first. 
Uh, we should be able to get him up uh, real easy with a crude revive here. Alright, one thing I do want to point out uh, is it's a fair amount of gold. Uh, you're getting a couple hundred, depending on the pack that you get, uh, plus items. Some of the encounters can give uh, maybe a dozen or so uh, pieces of equipment. If I can find one to, to point it out, I'll, I'll uh, stop and show you. And a lot of it is really... Uh, low loot value items, but you get a lot of it. Okay, so this is going to be one of the larger packs. It is seven, so we should get quite a bit more uh, pieces of equipment from this. I'm going to go ahead and mark the uh, mages here. All right, so they're dead. Uh, they put a little bit of a hurt on it. Looks like we didn't get uh, too many items with that. We got two but we did end up with over a thousand gold. So it's either you get a couple hundred gold and a bunch of items, or you get a bunch of gold and a handful of items. Now this tunnel is uh, fairly large. Uh, they're not always uh, this big. Some of them can be tiny. And again, these are all randomly procedural uh, generation on these dungeons. Uh, so you can get something that's huge like this, has a bunch of secret tunnels, uh, or you can grab something that uh, is fairly short. All right, I think we've uh, exhausted this one. Uh, take a look at the map. It is uh, fairly large and intricate. And uh, if you find one that is relatively small and you're not finding any uh, hidden areas or hidden doors, your perception might be too low. But uh, generally, depending on your difficulty, and uh, your level of perception that you have, you should be able to find uh, most all of them and, and be able to clear these on a regular uh, whim just going through them We get back out of here. Generally what I'm going to do is I will come out of the tunnel and rest here. This way it's out of the spawn area and uh, you just rest for the day. But I'm going to go down here. I'm going to sell everything in my inventory. And I'm going to show what a full run uh, will net you gold and equipment wise. All right. 642,216 is the gold. Okay. So we just got the daily uh, skill reset. I'm back in the tunnel. Uh, it's actually been uh, a couple of days uh, due to traveling. It is night. Let me go ahead and just turn that on. Uh, once daylight comes, 
You notice the tunnel was over here, now it's there. And you'll know the tunnel's reset uh, when you get the actual pop-up. So if you enter it again and you get this pop-up, your tunnel system has reset, you have a new dungeon. So I'm gonna go through this real quick. Uh, I'll show you at the end uh, the complete uh, game that we got uh, equipment wise and gold wise. Uh, 642,216, no inventory items. Uh, so we're looking at that. I'll join you back in just a minute. Okay, so that one was a fairly straightforward, uh, minimalistic one. It wasn't as big as the first one. Uh, but we'll take a look at uh, what we got. Uh, about uh, 2,000, 2,100, a little bit more on gold, 24 items. Uh, we'll go through those. Let me go down to Eichberth and we'll see what the total damage is here. All right, we're at the big stash here. It doesn't look like we need to identify anything. Uh, and it's all fairly mundane items. So you're not going to get fantastic equipment out of this. This is just going to be merch food. We go ahead and we sell all that. We got a measly 375. But... Overall, gold-wise, we got almost 3,000 off of that. So time spent, uh, plus you're grinding out experience and skills uh, with it. Uh, there are some other things that are more productive uh, for your time gold-wise uh, and experience-wise, like the lizard men in the damp cave. Uh, but uh, this is certainly a place to go for a little bit of variety, and definitely it helps you grind your perception out. Uh, here's another one and I'll go through this one and I'll show you the end result as well just comparatively with it a few moments later all right we're back out uh, about the same on gold wise and this is the average pool uh, that I normally see is about 50 or so items uh, which should net probably closer to a thousand with how low value uh, these are. And I haven't found a shaman yet uh, in the last couple of runs and they are few and far between. But if we go ahead and uh, identify all those, it doesn't look like we have anything to identify, but selling everything uh, a little bit over a grand with that. And it doesn't look like it's really anything that is of value. Yeah, it's all basic equipment. So it's all merch food. Uh, simple, simple gold farm. All right, guys, this has been uh, the Gnome Tunnels. Uh, why you should uh, grind it. Uh, it is really good for gold uh, early on, really early on equipment. Uh, it helps grind your perception up. If it's not high enough, you can find those uh, hidden tunnels. Uh, the down point to that is if you do not have the necessary perception to find all the tunnels, you're not going to get the full benefit of doing the gnome tunnels. Uh, and there is a very small chance for the Cortland's Cape to drop with the shamans if you can find one. Uh, gives you a plus 5% on your loot value. It does uh, help increase your gold wealth. Uh, with that plus there's a lot of uh, gnomes that you are fighting so you're getting your experience and your skills leveled out so it's just a good place to go and have a bit of a change if you're grinding in chapter one if you have any comments or questions uh, do that down below or get onto the facebook group uh, and ask there 
If you like videos like this, uh, go ahead and throw a like and share. Subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us grow our little uh, corner of the internet and helps YouTube push this to uh, new players, new people that have not discovered Dungeons of Chaos yet. Uh, have a great day. Thank you.